Today we're working on a 2002 RX 300 and the problem that we have is we're not able to start the vehicle unless we depress the accelerator pedal. What's happening is the idle air control valve is not opening or closing to allow this engine to run properly. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this issue. So the engine starts and it runs really well, but the only problem is I have to keep my foot on the accelerator pedal. And what's happening is when I press the, when I depress the gas pedal, the throttle plate opens up just enough to allow more air to enter into the motor. So now we're going to show you how to disassemble all this. And the first thing we'll do is we'll take this air box assembly apart. So there's two clips on this side and it should just slip right out. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll remove this connector, which is our mass airflow sensor. With that sensor disconnected, we'll go ahead and we'll unscrew this. And you can either use a uh, socket or you can use a Phillips head screwdriver. And then we'll wiggle this guy out. There's gonna be another connector in the back. And you'll go ahead and grab a pair of pliers and pull that out. So we'll just compress this. And then I always twist the hose before I try to remove it. That way it keeps the plastic from breaking. And then, we'll just remove this connector by just pressing down very hard and removing. There we go. Now we can move this out of the way. <clears throat> While you're here, always a good idea to check your air filter. And this is a little dirty, but it's totally passable. The next thing is you're gonna go ahead and start removing these pieces here. So, we'll get you a better camera angle. And the first thing we'll do is remove this hose here. And you can see there's another clamp. So I'm gonna grab my needle nose pliers and twist this in a direction that I can grab it, clamp it together, and move it out of the way. Then I'm gonna twist the hose itself and remove it. Then there's one other little vacuum hose right over here, and that one doesn't have a clamp, you just pull that right out. So now that we have this off, we're gonna go ahead and come to the front of the motor and remove two more 10 millimeter clamps that are holding the poses. All right, so I'm gonna start with the other one first. All right, next step is you're just gonna remove this harness connector right here which looks like it's already been removed before. All right, so this one's been broken. There's normally a tab right here, um, but we don't have that tab today. Now this is probably the hardest part of this entire job is removing the two Phillips screwdrivers that hold on the idle air control valve. And that's because they are put in there and they've been sitting there for a very long time and they're very easy to strip. So you wanna make sure not to strip them. So we're putting a lot of force on these. And I just stripped it. I'm hoping that this guy just Alright, so then we should just be able to pull this guy off. Alright, you don't want to lose this washer. So we're just going to shove that guy back in there. And let's examine. So now we're going to go ahead and spray some brake parts cleaner inside this hole. I'm going to let that filter through and I'm going to turn this and there we go, now, now I can feel a lot less crud holding that guy together. So I'm just gonna continue on. There we go, and now I'm gonna take this lower clamp off. And let it drain through. this guy up and then open it and now we know 
this guy's working. So now we're going to go ahead and let everything air out. And then we're going to put it all back together. Okay, so we have everything set up. Uh, there's no more brake parts cleaner in here. And uh, all this is drained back out. And this now moves very nice and smoothly. So all that uh, buildup, that carbon buildup, that, that uh, is gone. So we're going to go ahead and install it. There should be a little washer that's still in there. You saw that almost pop out earlier. So we're just going to go ahead and stick this guy back in. And then we're going to grab our two screws. Earlier in the video I talked about how easy it was to strip out these screws. The first one I did came out really well, but the second one I had to give it a light tap with a hammer to kind of break the threads loose before I could remove it. And I was having so much difficulty that I had to use a 3 8 ratchet with an adapter for a Phillips head. So before I get too close I'm just going to go ahead and put this hose back on. And this clamp is pretty, pretty loose so you can grab it with your hand if you want, but I always like using my force multiplier, aka the pliers. Let's turn that out of the way. And put this guy back on. Alright, so since we know that this connector is broken because it's mixing it is missing its lock tab, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put it on and then secure it with some electrical tape. Now what I would really like to do is to replace that pigtail, but since we're on a time crunch and this is a budget repair, we're just gonna go ahead and tape it so that it doesn't pop off. All right, so now that we have a quick taping of this, we can just give it a little tug. It's not gonna come out and it's fully seated in there, so we, we know that we're gonna have good contact with the terminals. So now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble everything Make sure that your hose clamps and everything are put into their proper holders. And then we'll go ahead and put this hose back on. And then you'll just pinch your clamp and bring it over. And you go ahead and put it on. And then you'll grab your hose clamp and press the hose on more. And then just feed your hose clamp on and turn it so it's out of the way. The next thing is you will grab your electrical connector and you'll put it on and you'll hear a click when it's all the way seated and once you have that in place you go ahead and duct yourself back into your air tube and then seat everything back into the air filter assembly and we're just going to clip these two on so we know everything's in place and then grab your MAF sensor connector click that on you'll hear it click it's on, and then you'll grab your clamp, and you'll tighten that guy up. First, we're gonna make sure we're all the way seated. There we go, all the way seated now. And I can go ahead, I'm gonna move the position of this guy, so it's easier to get off the next time. I'm just gonna spin this this way, and now I'm gonna tighten it back up. We're all snugged up. So now make sure that everything is safely located out of the engine compartment and nothing's gonna fall in there. Go ahead and test your vehicle, make sure it starts right up. Alright, so we were successful in cleaning our idle air control valve and we tested it a couple of times. The car is idling beautifully, so we're going to go ahead and say we fixed it. Now to test. Alright, we're out of here.